evolutionists go so far in this subject that they can even invent very different faces for the same skull. The three entirely different reconstructions made for the fossil calls in Santropus is a famous example showing how persistent evolutionists are in producing these false masks. Evolutionists engage not only in drawing and modeling tricks, sometimes they commit deliberate forgeries. The most famous of these frauds is the Piltdown Fossil, introduced in England in 1912 by an evolutionist named Charles Dawson. This fossil was presented as the most important transitional form between ape and man and was displayed in museums for more than 30 years. Experts who re-examined the fossil in 1949 discovered that it was a forgery that had been produced by attaching an orangutan's jaw to a human skull. Another intermediate transitional form fabricated by evolutionists was the Nebraska Man. This was cooked up in 1922 on the basis of a single fossil tooth. The evolutionists did not neglect to give it an ostentatious Latin name, as Parapithecus Harold Cooka, or to make imaginary drawings related to it. It was soon revealed that the tooth that had been the source of inspiration for Nebraska Man, in fact belonged to a wild pig. Many other fossil skulls have been presented as great evidence for evolution failed one by one. Neanderthal man was advanced as evidence in 1856, dismissed in 1960. Piltdown man was advanced as evidence in 1912, dismissed in 1953. Zenzanthropus was advanced as evidence in 1959, dismissed in 1960. Ramapithecus was advanced as evidence in 1964, dismissed in 1979. Despite all these facts, these skulls are still presented to the public through the media and in some evolutionist textbooks as if they were scientific facts. In many countries, an important part of the society supposes that evolution is a proven fact. A great deal of this so-called evidence of evolution, much of which has been dismissed by evolutionists themselves, is still presented to school children in their textbooks, where they are depicted as the ancestors of man. In fact, the truth that the evolutionists try so hard to deny and conceal is there for all to see. Species appeared all of a sudden and perfectly on the earth. That is, they were created. The divine creator ruling over the whole of nature created all kinds with their unique and perfect traits. That divine creator is Allah, the one and only God. He is the Lord of the heavens, the earth, and all that is between them. The whole universe is the outcome of a flawless creation. The exalted wisdom, power, and knowledge of the Creator shows itself in everything He has created.
O du Mensch, was hat dich hinsichtlich deines ehrwürdigen Herrn betört, der dich erschuf und dich dann ebenmäßig geformt und in einer geraden Gestalt gemacht hat?